And welcome, everybody, to duel number one here at Eldora Speedway. This is the Mud Summer Duels, our inaugural Mud Summer Duels here at Eldora Speedway for the Intermountain Cup Series. This is technically race 10, part A, as the first group of tw 20, and then we'll have a group of 19. This first group of 20 about to set to take the track for their duel race. Remember, if you win or get a pole in this race, it still counts for credit. The pole setter in today's race is going to be Zachary Fitzwater. Water coming off a strong finish last week at Zinjoltis. Alongside him, um, our winner at from New Hampshire, that is Donovan Updike in the 89. Starting third 30 is the 33 of Alex Hawkins. Then you have the 70 of James Qualls. The 9 of Robert Stevens. The 5 of Matias Paiva. The 85 of Tara Takanawa. The 22 of Ray Takada. The 92 of Junior McMillan. The 31 of of Brendan Nichols, the 20 of Yui Wakabayachi, the 88 of Ryan Wilson, the 12 of Eugene Namax, the 7 of Captain Marvelous, the 87, there's a command, the 87 of Kyle Anderson, the 44 of Eric Steinmetz, the 14 of Darian Taylor, the double zero of Betty Johnson, the 62 of Jake Craigo, and the 77 of Jackie Tang. We're going to take a pace lap here around this dirt track. We're going to go dirt track racing for the first and only time here in the Gator Mountain Cup Series. 40 laps here in duel number one. Pace car is heading down pit road very quickly at this half mile track. Or it seemed like it at least. Now is heading down pit road. Fitzwater and up deck to lead the field of green. Green flag in the air. Duel number one's underway. Mudslinging action here at Eldora, and the quick racing is going to be fun to watch. It looks like, oh, Don Epdike's going to be the first to hit the wall, and it looks like Zachary Fitzwater will lead lap one. First to lead a lap on dirt in the Gander Mountain Cup Series. Alex Hawkins going to dive inside. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get it yet, and he might. Yes, he will. Who led the lap? Alex Hawkins led the lap. Alex Hawkins, your new leader. These laps will go by quick, and Zachary Fitzwater's going to rub the wall. And Manny's Paiva's going to get around him. Paiva's now going to look to the inside and make a pass. Not going to happen on this lap. Alex Hawkins will get it. These cars are going to go flying on this track. And these laps will go by very quickly. And there goes Hawkins into the wall. Fitzwater back there just hit the wall. Paiva's looking inside. Paiva make the pass. Not this time. This time, yes, Paiva makes the pass. Paiva, your new leader. Now he's Paiva. Hawkins gonna hit the wall there. Paiva leads, and we have a wreck! Ooh, a lot of cars just got around back there. There's he finally getting around. The attack by getting around. Well, how about that? I think Taro Takanao is your new leader. Eugene the Max looking to dive inside now. Eugene the Max will pass. The five Manius Paiva. And now Takanawa in the wall. The Max leads that lap. These cars are going to be hitting the wall a lot here. Their right sides are going to be just messed up entirely at the end of this one. That 85's got to control his car. But anyways, we have a new leader. And that is Eugene Maxis. He's now going to get passed by Darian Taylor. In the 14. And in the release shovels here more than does in a super speedway. Darian Taylor now out front. Darian Taylor. I believe he is one of two TriStar Motorsports drivers. Him and the 19 of Barry Baker, who will run in the next race. Wow, we're, we're getting some hard action early. Only 10 laps in. And we've already had quite a few lead changes as Darian Taylor is going to come by and lead yet another lap. Eric Steinmetz, James Paul is two drivers that are charging hard right now. There's the 44. 
44 trying to make a move just yet. Doesn't look like it. Looks like the 14's gonna come around this time and try to lead a yet another lap. Looks like the 12 just hit a wall again. Eric Steinmetz being pushed by Kyle Anderson. We're gonna go low. Uh, low hasn't worked entirely well this time. Donovan Updike's gonna hit the wall again as Arian Taylor's gonna lap Updike. Updike just went became went two laps down. I think the 20 car, Yu Akbayachi, did not start this race. I'll have to check. Taylor now going to get passed by a lot of drivers. I believe the leader is the 7 of Captain Marvelous. No, it is the 44 of Eric Steinmetz. He's trying to get around the lap car of Captain Marvelous. Man, passing is Eldora's middle name. This pass after pass after pass. I believe Darian Taylor has led the most laps today as Steinmetz is now going to lap Ray Takata. As Kyle Anderson and Ray Tackett are both at the wall. James Qualls is currently sitting in second, trying to catch up on the 44. He's like he'll do it just yet, as this time by, we'll mark the halfway point in this race. As 20 laps are in, we are halfway done. Here at Eldora, both Ray Tackett and Kyle Anderson got into it back there. James Qualls looking for just a run on the bottom, being able to pass the 44. Will he get it out of this turn? Not yet. Looks like he'll get it out of this turn as he sends the 44 into the wall. And James Qualls is going to bump on past the 44 of Eric Steinmetz. James Qualls out front. Eric Steinmetz is going to rub the wall hard now. The bumping and banging of Eldora. That's what makes this trek so much fun. These insane speeds they're picking up on this track. James Qualls, now he's getting damage. Picked up quite a little bit of it. With that number 70 car, let's go a little bit further back in the field as he hits, the fall, hits it again. There you have the 44 and the 14. 88, 22 of the 8, 22 of the lap down, so it's the 7, there's the 85, also lap down, the 77 is for Carol Lewis for his fifth, which is interesting. But right now, the 14 has gained some ground, now he's going to be the next guy to come and charge. It looks like the 88's gained some ground as well. But the 14 looks like he's going to be the next guy to come up and try to charge the leader. He's looking to make a pass in front of the 70 of James Qualls, who, in a lot of people's opinions, has led way too many laps this year then the most consistent driver by far. One back at Richmond. So Eldora should be a cakewalk for Qualls. But he's hit the wall one too many times. Ryan Wilson now going to be the car in position to try to make the pass on Qualls. But 26 laps in, and I think most definitely we have found the dominant car here tonight. And that is the 70 of James Qualls who once again hits the wall. This place is changing positions more than a super speedway ever, or could. Now let's see if that 88 of Ryan Wilson is going to gain any ground. Uh, 70 is going to hit the wall, and the 88 is now going to hit the wall. So now the 87 out front of the group of the pack back there is the 70 is just going to town as he's going to rub the wall there to give the 87 some more ground. 87 almost right there. They're both going to hit the wall there. 7, the lap car, is looking, and the 7 goes around! Whoa! The 7 of Captain Marvelous just went haywire. Talk about wrecking. But right now, James Qual is still holding his lead as we are 30 laps into this race. 10 to go. The 77 of Jackie Tang. He looks like he might be the one to make the pass as he controlled it out of that turn. Jackie Tang won our season opener the drive for COBD 300 back at Daytona. And he's going to dive inside to Qualls. Will he make the pass? 
Not yet. Now he has. Jackie Tang, your new leader. First time out front since Daytona. Had a chance to lead back at Phoenix, but just couldn't get in front of the 20 Yu Yakabayachi. Lost it at the end, and, well, the story tells itself. But now he's back out front here at Eldora, as he just hit the wall, giving Darian Taylor a chance to catch him. Six to go. One thing I love about Eldora, how quick this track is. And he hits the wall. The 14's going to look for an advantage. Same with the 5. Who's going to pass him is the real question. As we are now 5 to go. 4 to 6 to go, my apologies. Matias Paiva to the inside. Darian Taylor in the middle. 3 wide as they all bump into each other. And somehow Paiva comes out with the lead. They all have fast enough cars to regain it. The question is, who's, gonna, who's that car going to be? I think it might be the 14 of Darian Taylor. Paiva's going to avoid, avoid the wall at that time. Now we have five laps to go. Four, my apologies once again, as he's the on the lap. Taro Takanawa. Darian Taylor right on the bumper of Paiva. He's looking to make the pass on this turn. Will he get it done? Not yet. Three to go. Darian Taylor looks like he will make that pass. He is determined that Paiva's got a lot of speed as he's going to rub the wall there. There we go. 14 to the lead. Darian Taylor, new leader. Two to go, this time by. It is Taylor, Paiva, Qualls, and Tang. Tang's going to pass Qualls now. Tang looks like he's the next one to probably get try to get in. Doesn't, doesn't look like he's going to do it yet. Coming around this time. Around turn two. White flag in the air for Darian Taylor. Tang's got a good run. Will Tang make the pass? Get his second one of the season. Or will Darian Taylor hold on for his first? A win does not count for 39 points. It only counts for... 20 in this race, but a win is a win, and a win is what will be earned today. Darian Taylor wins! Duel number one of the Mud Summer Classic here at Eldora Raceway. Great job by him holding off Qualls, Tang, and Paiva, and ending up putting himself in victory lane. Let's look at the results as he's, him and Qualls are, looks like they're having a talk. But anyway, let's look at our official finishing results from today's race. Darian Taylor, nicely done, getting his first one of the season. James Qualls second, Jackie Tang third, Matty Spivey fourth, Kyle Anderson fifth, Eugene Max sixth, Eric Steinmetz seventh, Junior McMillan eighth, Zachary Fitzwater ninth, Brenda Nichols tenth, Ryan Wilson eleventh, Ray Tackett twelfth, Jacob Craig thirteenth, Captain Marvelous fourteenth, Donovan Updike fifteenth, Tower Tack now sixteenth, Betty Johnson seventeenth, and Robert Stewart, 18th, and Alex Hawkins, 19th. However, the 20 of you Akwachi was not scored. She did finish 20th. The real question is, what happened to that car? Let's answer that question. Did not last long, however. Looks like it made it on the pace laps. It was running fine. And this is on the pace laps. The race is yet to start, and she's just going to dive down pit road. Doesn't look like there was an error. She just decides, hey, I don't want to race that, and she's done. She just wasn't feeling it. Let's look at some other drivers who ended up retiring in today's race. The 33 of Alex Hawkins, let's see what he did. He's running fine at this point. Let's skip ahead a little bit. He was the first out. He hit the wall a, lot, a numerous amount of times. Maybe that's what put him out. Ooh. Looks like he's running fine in that corner. 33 we're talking about. Everything looks good. It's just a, just the side damage from hitting the wall. Every driver has that. Running fine with 33. Oh! Oh my! That's a wreck. Let's watch that again real quick. Wow. That 85. Taro Takanawa has caused quite a few wrecks lately. Looks like she just caused another. Look at Takanawa. I think it's on the next turn. Now right in front of the 85. Just gets loose. Haywire. And everything just goes wrong from there. Takanawa is just going to spin. And get into Hawkins. 
leave Takanawa was able to continue. Let's go on board from Takanawa real quick. I'm curious. Let's go on board. On board of the dirt track. I bet you've never seen this one before. Let's see exactly what happened with the 85. Looks like running great. Comes over here. Makes this turn. Comes into this corner. Everything looks good. My question is what happened to that E? Make it go loose. And over here, in the back stretch looking fine. Just run lap 15 at this point. And just gonna get loose. Nobody turned him and he's just gonna go spinning. He's gonna get brought around straight and he's gonna drive away safely. Who else has some problems? Robert Stewart had issues in the race. Let's go to TV1 and figure out what his issue was today. Ooh! Blown engine, maybe? I think that's what it was. Let's see. And there it is, blown engine. At a dirt track, I'd say that's pretty rare. But the engine is blown, and Robert Stewart's day was done. Man good, a little while, but guess just couldn't get it done near the end of it. And he's going to pull down bit lane, that's going to end his day. One more DNQ, D DNF, my bad, that we had today was Betty Johnson. Running fine as of this point. It's our third and final DMQ. It's just going to come down pit road. Doesn't look like she took any hits that are that bad. She just hits the wall a lot. And if you hit the wall a lot, it's not going to hurt you because this is a dirt track. Oh! Back that up a second. I think that's what's going to send her out of this one race. Let's watch that real quickly. Looks like the 88 in the... Let's go to an 88 camera, because it looks like the 8, let's go to the 7 camera, it looks like the 7 and the 88 had gotten into it, not too far before this, let's see, the 7 had just hit the 88, so he's now going to try to pa get past the 77, let's see what happened, 77 getting loose out of that corner. go up high right right by the 88 88's gonna get hit so what happened and he's gonna get spinned by the 12 that's what happened and there he is getting clipped looks like the 88 didn't have any trouble just captain marvelous let's see an onboard view of what happened to captain marvelous so let's see what just happened out of captain marvelous's eyes in the bondi chevrolet Excuse me. And he's just gonna get spun. Nothing much about it, and then Betty Johnson's just gonna tip him. And then tip him even more. Ouch. That must have been. And just ended her ended his day, I guess. Alright, folks, thanks for tuning in to today's session. Right, duel one now complete. Darian Taylor, your winner. Be student be, be sure to tune in. Because Duel 2 is coming up very soon. Some big names will be in that duel, like Anthony Ricky, Ian Dutta, Joshua Michaels. Who will come out in victory lane out of those guys? We'll see you then. Like if you want to see more racing, subscribe to get all your GMCS action, comment to keep your ride. We'll see you guys next time.